video the first one is setting up your Photoshop file so make sure you open up Photoshop go to file and new once you get there you're gonna to go to film and video once you've gone to film and video the option that you want is HD TV 1080p 1920 by 1080 at 72 ppi the only difference here is that you are going to change where it says resolution you're gonna put that in at 300 RGB and white background and then you're gonna hit create now from there you're gonna have this new document that pops up these lines that you see uh, they are just guidelines you do not have to stay within them you can go all the way to the edge of the white at the beginning you're gonna to go to window workspace and reset essentials from there your first step is that here in your layers panel which I'm gonna pull out from the right hand side the background right now is white if you would like to fill it with a different color you can simply go over to your paint bucket on the left hand side of your screen click on paint bucket and then at the bottom where you have your foreground color just click on your foreground color here and when you do so a box will pop up and you can choose whichever color that you would like so you can go up and down on the list and then go inside and click the color that you'd like once you've done that hit OK and you can click right on your screen and you can drop your color and then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding your song like we said you're going to be going online finding your song so here's an example uh, here right and you're going to go on you're going to find your song on YouTube right so you're going to go to YouTube and when you get there like we talked about you're going to find your song uh, here it is right here okay and then you're going to click on it <clears throat> once you get it there all you have to do is go up to the top select the URL right click and copy and then we're gonna make a new tab and on this new tab we're gonna to go to Y2 mate alright so this was the uh, website that allows you to download when you click there you're gonna right click and paste you're gonna hit start this is all gonna come up you don't need a high quality one. you can do as low as 360p that's fine hit download hit allow you're gonna see this little download button come up eventually you can click it if it gets blocked the first time just close it and try it again and it will in fact work once you hit allow it downloads it to your folder okay that will be in your downloads folder it should look like this and you should see like there that one's downloading right there for me okay perfect now what else do we need from that now in your folder on the server so it should look like this this graphic server you're gonna double click go in go to classes go to period 8 inside period 8 you're going to have your folders for you now inside those folders like we talked about you are going to download um, <clears throat> your song can go right to your uh, downloads folder of your computer but in this folder what you're going to do is save this new file that we just started so to do that you go to file you go to save as and you're going to save it to that now to get there you're going to go to 10 10 20 93 double click graphics double click classes double click period 8 find your folder double click your folder and then in there you're going to then save um, your file you're going to call it your name and then kinetic type like this this is the way you should name this file okay once you've done that you're gonna hit uh, save okay and then after you go to save remember you have to find the lyrics for your song online somewhere so we have already looked up the lyrics for this like here okay so you go to a website that has the lyrics for your song and then once you find that let's see if it loads up for us there we go okay so in this area all you have to do you can just kinda look or you can select and then right click and copy if you'd like you could do that or I'm just gonna do it by hand right so the first word is yeah so I'm gonna go back over to Photoshop once I've gotten there I'm gonna go to my left hand side go to my toolbar select my by right clicking <clears throat> the horizontal type tool up at the top here you have all the different fonts that you have on your machine there's not a ton uh, and then you can start with size so I usually start at about a 30 or 36 somewhere in that range and all you have to do simply is click now up here the only other option is color so there is a color button and you can click there you can choose whatever color you'd like so if I choose white here we go I have white I click one time up it's gonna pop some fake letters I am then going to either paste in my word or type in my word like that you know so you can type it in after you type it in you can take the move tool at the top left hand corner of your screen you can click on it and you can move it wherever you would like it to be if you want to rotate it make it bigger smaller do anything to it you can do edit and free transform that's gonna put a box around it at that point you can stretch it make it bigger or smaller you can click outside of it and rotate it in any direction that you want you can also right click inside and select things like skew or warp the only problem here skew will work and that'll do this kind of thing for you 
But if you want to do any other transformations of your word after you type them in, so I'm just going to undo that for a second. What you would have to do is on your layers panel here, the only extra little step that you would have to do is right click on the layer, right click on the layer here, select rasterize. And if you do that, now when you do edit and free transform, which is command T on your keyboard, you're going to see that not only can you make it bigger or smaller and rotate it like I said before, but when you right click now, you get other options in here like distort, perspective, and warp. They all do different things as you can plainly see as I start to play with the word a little bit. Okay, So you can design each word the way that you like. After you type it in, hit the checkbox. Good. Okay. So you can continue to do that. So you keep looking back at the page. You look back at the next word is this. So I take my text tool again. I click. I type in this. Right? And then I take my move tool and I start moving this. Where is it going to go? Maybe right there. Okay, so you're filling up your page with the words. The only thing you have to note is that you're going to go in order as you go. You're going to go in order. So the bottom layer is the first word and the very top layer will be the last word that you type. So they should go in order or else things won't work later. Also, every fourth or fifth word, wherever you see it necessary, like in this one where he says album and where he says teachers and where he says buildings and where he says police you know I'm gonna go online I'm gonna make a new tab and I'm gonna find those images like this I'm gonna go for example here's buildings PNG and I'm going to type in buildings PNG I'm gonna find that file online when you find that file like this you go to images right <clears throat> go to tools color transparent try to find one that you think is gonna match up with what you're looking for or what you're doing in your project right so like I might go to uh, I don't know this one or something right and I'm gonna click it and then from here, I'm going to literally take it, drag it, and drop it right into my work like that. Once it's in here, the same principles apply. You can do Command-T. You can make it bigger or smaller, rotate it, right-click, skew it, distort it, warp it. All that different stuff is still uh, possible for you. Okay, But go in order. So an example of a more finished-looking one of this would be something like this where all the words are now here. <clears throat> you can see all of the layers that I've done and they're all in order of the entire thing with a few images in total. I used five different images along with the words, okay? Uh, so after that point, this is part one. You're gonna make sure you save everything. Call me over, let me check it for you. And then when you are complete with that, you're gonna move on to part two and that'll be the next video.